Shrimp have a unique anatomy. Their heart is located in the cephalothorax, a body segment that combines the head and thorax. This region is protected by a hard shell, carapace, and is integral to their defensive system. In addition to the heart, the cephalothorax also contains other vital organs like the brain and digestive system. Unlike most animals whose heart is located in the torso, shrimp and other crustaceans share this unusual arrangement. Shrimp have an open circulatory system, meaning their blood doesn't flow through vessels, but instead bathes internal organs directly. Okinoshima, located in the Sido Inland Sea, is known as Rabbit Island due to its large population of wild rabbits that roam freely and are accustomed to human presence. The island has a unique history. It was once a site for producing chemical weapons during World War II, and the rabbits may have been released after the war ended. Today, they attract thousands of tourists annually who come to feed and observe these friendly animals. Although the rabbits on Okinoshima live in the wild, they are used to humans and eagerly approach visitors in hopes of treats, making it a popular destination for family trips. Tsunami waves, often caused by underwater earthquakes, carry immense energy and can travel across the ocean at speeds of up to 800 kilometers per hour, similar to the speed of a jet plane. In the open ocean, they appear relatively flat and are hard to detect, but as they approach shorelines, their speed decreases and their height increases sharply, leading to potentially catastrophic damage. The most destructive tsunami in recorded history occurred in 2004 in the Indian Ocean, affecting 14 countries. Its waves reached up to 30 meters in height and caused the deaths of around 230,000 people. Platypuses and echidnas belong to the monotremes, the only group of mammals that reproduce by laying eggs. After hatching, young platypuses drink their mother's milk, which is secreted through specialized glands, as platypuses lack nipples. Known for their unusual anatomy, platypuses have a duck-like bill, webbed feet, and venomous glands. They are found only in Australia and are one of the most unique species in the animal kingdom. Young platypuses have teeth, but as they mature, these are replaced by special keratinous plates for grinding food. Trees and forests use a fungal network, known as mycorrhiza, to transfer nutrients and information among themselves. Fungi living symbiotically with tree roots form underground networks through which minerals, water, and warning signals are shared. When one tree is attacked by pests or suffers from water deficiency, it can send a signal that triggers defense responses in neighboring trees. Mycorrhiza also allows older trees to support younger ones by delivering essential nutrients to help them grow healthily. Mother trees, which are often the largest and oldest in a forest, frequently aid younger ones by supplying nutrients. These interactions help forests maintain ecosystem stability. Koala fingerprints are remarkably similar to human ones, with intricate and varied patterns that make them difficult to distinguish from ours under a microscope. These prints help koalas grip eucalyptus branches, essential for their treetop lifestyle. These unique ridges are a result of convergent evolution, a process where unrelated species develop similar traits to adapt better to their environment. Due to the similarity, koala fingerprints could technically cause forensic confusion if found at a crime scene, though, of course, this is a rare occurrence. Owls have a unique anatomical structure that allows them to rotate their heads 270 degrees without disrupting blood flow. Their necks contain extra cervical vertebrae and specially adapted blood vessels that maintain circulation even during extreme head rotations. Since their eyes are fixed in their sockets and cannot move, owls rely on this extraordinary ability to see in various directions. They have additional arteries at the base of their skulls that store blood, ensuring a continuous supply of oxygen to the brain, even during sudden head turns. Research has shown that certain parrots, especially African gray parrots, Cetacus erythicus, possess impressive mathematical abilities, including the capacity to count up to six. These parrots can recognize numbers and even comprehend concepts like more and less. They exhibit remarkable intelligence, comparable to that of primates. The famous parrot Alex, studied by Dr. Irene Pepperberg, demonstrated that parrots can understand abstract ideas such as colors, shapes, and counting objects. Alex learned over 100 words and could use them in context, 
making him one of the most studied and intelligent birds to date. The jellyfish Turritopsis dornii, known as the immortal jellyfish, is the only known organism capable of reversing its life cycle. When injured or exposed to stressful conditions, it undergoes a process called transdifferentiation, in which mature cells can transform into different cell types. Instead of aging and dying, Turritopsis dornii reverts to its polyp stage, effectively rejuvenating its body and starting its life cycle anew. In theory, this process can continue indefinitely, making it biologically immortal. However, in nature, Turritopsis dornii rarely achieves this immortality, as it often falls prey to predators or disease. The Pearl of Porta is the largest known pearl, weighing a staggering 34 kilograms and measuring over 30 centimeters in diameter. It was discovered by a local fisherman off the coast of the Philippines, who kept it as a good luck charm for about 10 years before realizing its extraordinary value. Unlike traditional pearls formed by oysters of the Pinctada genus, the Pearl of Porta was created inside a giant clam, Tridacna gigas, resulting in an irregular shape and massive structure. Its value is hard to estimate, but experts believe it could be worth tens of millions of dollars, making it one of the most valuable gems in the world. Studies have shown that DNA molecules can withstand the extreme conditions of space, such as ultraviolet radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the lack of atmosphere. Experiments conducted on the International Space Station, ISS, revealed that DNA can survive extreme temperatures and radiation, suggesting that simple forms of life could potentially be transferred through space, a concept known as panspermia. This resilience has sparked interest in the possibility of microorganisms naturally surviving and traveling between planets. Scientists also tested bacterial survival on the exterior of the ISS and found that certain microbes endured up to three years in open space, opening new avenues in astrobiology. Black panther is a term used for leopards or jaguars that exhibit melanism, a genetic mutation that produces excess black pigment in their fur. This gives the animal an almost entirely black appearance, though in certain light, their distinctive spots are still visible. Melanism is an adaptive trait that, in environments like dense forests, can provide a camouflage advantage by helping the animal blend into darker surroundings. Melanism does not occur in lions or tigers, so no black versions of these cats exist. In jaguar populations in South America and leopard populations in Asia, melanistic individuals can make up as much as 10 to 15 percent of the population. The human body naturally produces small quantities of ethanol through fermentation, primarily in the intestines. Gut bacteria break down carbohydrates from food, creating ethanol as a byproduct. The liver metabolizes this alcohol as part of regular processes, so its level remains too low to induce intoxication. In rare cases, individuals develop a condition known as auto-brewery syndrome, where an overabundance of yeast in the gut produces significantly higher amounts of alcohol, leading to symptoms resembling intoxication. The corpse flower, Amorphophallus titanum, is famed for its rare blooming, occurring approximately every 7 to 10 years. It is known for its intense odor, which resembles rotting meat and attracts pollinators like flies and beetles. During bloom, the flower can reach up to 3 meters in height and remains open for just 24 to 48 hours before wilting. Due to its rarity and spectacular appearance, Amorphophallus titanum blooms draw large crowds to botanical gardens worldwide whenever an upcoming bloom is announced. Unlike most animals, butterflies have taste receptors on their feet. When they land on a plant, these sensitive nerve endings detect chemical signals, allowing butterflies to taste the plant. This ability is crucial for female butterflies who need to lay eggs on suitable host plants to ensure their young will have the right food. Monarch butterflies, for example, are selective and lay eggs only on milkweed plants because their caterpillars are adapted to feed on the plant's toxins, which makes them less attractive to predators. Angel Falls, Salto Angel, located in Canaima National Park in Venezuela, is the tallest waterfall in the world, with an impressive height of 979 meters, including an uninterrupted drop of 807 meters. 
Its height is so great that the water begins to disperse into mist and tiny droplets before reaching the valley below. The waterfall was named after American aviator Jimmy Angel, who accidentally discovered it during a flight in 1933. Angel Falls is in a remote area accessible only by boat and on foot through the jungle or by helicopter, making it one of the most wild and mysterious tourist destinations in the world. In seahorses, family syngnathidae, it's the males who carry fertilized eggs and give birth to young. Females deposit eggs into a special brood pouch on the male's abdomen, where they are fertilized and develop until hatching. The male controls the internal conditions of the pouch to ensure an optimal environment for the offspring. The birthing process is intense as the male releases the young in a powerful contraction, which can take several minutes to a few hours. Seahorse males can give birth to hundreds of young at once, a unique reproductive strategy aimed at protecting offspring and increasing their survival chances. Sunflowers, Helianthus annuus, have a remarkable ability to track the movement of the sun, a phenomenon called heliotropism. Young sunflowers rotate from east to west throughout the day, allowing them to capture sunlight more efficiently for photosynthesis. At night, they reset to the east, ready to greet the sun the next morning. As the plants mature, this movement gradually ceases and mature sunflowers remain facing east. Research shows that heliotropism influences sunflower growth and health, and facing east helps mature flowers attract more pollinators by warming up faster, making them more appealing to insects. Sharks are among the few animals that grow continuously throughout their lives, a process known as indeterminate growth. Unlike humans or most mammals, which reach a specific size in adulthood, sharks continue to gain length and weight as they age. Older sharks can reach impressive sizes. For example, great white sharks can exceed 6 meters and whale sharks can grow up to 12 meters long. Due to this perpetual growth, older sharks often bear significant body scars from various encounters and their age can even be estimated by examining growth rings in their vertebrae. Penguins' feathers are exceptionally adapted to their aquatic lifestyle. They have special glands near the base of their tails that produce an oily substance, which they spread over their feathers to make them waterproof. This coating prevents their plumage from getting soaked, and a layer of trapped air between the feathers provides thermal insulation, protecting them from icy waters. Penguins molt once a year, during which they replace all their feathers, ensuring continuous insulation and cold protection. During this period, penguins cannot swim and must rely on stored energy to survive on land without feeding. A cumulus cloud, the fluffy, white clouds often seen in the sky, can weigh up to a million kilograms. This is because clouds consist of tiny droplets of water and ice crystals, collectively forming a massive weight. A cumulus cloud about one kilometer wide contains billions of small droplets, and though they are spread over a vast area, they make the cloud visible. Despite weighing millions of kilograms, clouds remain airborne due to their low density and air currents help keep them aloft, preventing them from descending. Chameleon's eyes are among the most unique adaptations in the animal kingdom. Each eye can move independently, allowing chameleons to observe two different directions simultaneously and gain a 360-degree view without moving their heads. This special adaptation helps chameleons quickly spot both prey and potential threats. When a chameleon detects a target, it can focus both eyes on one spot, enabling a precise strike with its tongue. The chameleon's eyes are protected by conical scales, exposing only the pupils. This structure functions like a protective eye shell, allowing for focused vision on small objects even at a distance. Birds have a unique excretory system, most of them lack a bladder, and their urine mixes directly with feces in the intestines, being expelled as a white paste. This evolutionary adaptation helps birds save weight, essential for efficient flight. Bird waste contains uric acid, which is less soluble than urea, found in mammals, allowing birds to eliminate nitrogenous waste with minimal water loss. Some seabirds have additional adaptations for removing excess salt from seawater using specialized nasal glands that excrete a concentrated salt solution, enabling them to thrive in salty environments without harm. Elephants possess the largest brains of any land animal, weighing up to 5 kilograms. 
Their brains are highly developed, particularly in regions responsible for memory, emotions, and social interactions. Elephants can recognize themselves in a mirror, a sign of self-awareness, and are able to remember group members for many years. They can learn from past experiences and even display emotional responses, like mourning a herd member's loss. Elephants also have remarkable memories, recalling water sources they visited years earlier, crucial for survival in dry seasons. Ravens show high intelligence and a remarkable ability to plan for the future, anticipating their needs and preparing accordingly. Studies have shown that ravens can store food and tools for later use, even saving some resources for a time when they may be more useful. Ravens also use tools and store them, a rare trait in the animal kingdom. They demonstrate an understanding of trade value, as observed in research where ravens saved, brought items, and exchanged them with scientists for food, patiently waiting for more desirable rewards. The human brain is relatively small, accounting for only 2% of body weight, yet it consumes as much as 20% of the body's total energy. This intense energy use is due to the high demand for glucose and oxygen needed to maintain neuron activity and rapid signal exchange. Often likened to a supercomputer, the brain controls essential bodily functions, handles cognitive processes, memory, and social interactions, and also manages emotions. Interestingly, the human brain uses more energy at rest than other organs do during intense activity. About 60% of its structure is made up of fat, making it the fattiest organ in the body, essential for neuron function. Underwater, objects appear about 33% larger and closer than they really are. This effect results from the difference in density and optical properties between water and air. When light moves from water to the eye, it refracts at a different angle, causing an optical enlargement of objects. In practice, this means that a small stone might look much larger and objects slightly farther away seem within reach. Light refraction underwater also causes colors to fade at certain depths. For example, red begins to dissipate at 10 meters, making surroundings appear more greenish blue. Some birds, like nightingales and sparrows, can sing while asleep, and these sounds are linked to the learning process of song patterns. Young birds learning to sing retain and replay melodies, even in sleep, helping them master complex sound patterns. This behavior is particularly important for species that communicate through intricate songs, as better song imitation can improve mating success. Research on birds singing in sleep has also contributed to a better understanding of how the human brain processes and remembers speech, particularly in relation to language learning in children. Crabs have a unique joint structure. Their joints are located on the outside of their bodies and move backward and forward, making it easier for them to walk sideways than forward. This way of moving is highly efficient, allowing them to quickly shift sideways when threatened, and it's well suited to their coastal habitats, where they often need to escape from waves or predators. Some crabs, like the coconut crab, can move in multiple directions, including forward and backward, but most are adapted to a sideways movement due to their rigid body structure. Many fish, such as clownfish, wrasses, and seahorses, can change sex in response to environmental conditions and social needs. For example, in clownfish groups, there is a hierarchy where the largest female dominates and the rest are males. When the female dies, the largest male undergoes a sex change to become the new dominant female. This adaptive trait allows fish flexibility in social organization and maximizes reproductive success. The ability to change sex is a form of hermaphroditism and is common in coral reef ecosystems, where fish populations can shift quickly and sex change helps maintain a balanced gender ratio in the group. Water makes up about 60% of an adult human's body weight and plays a crucial role in numerous biological functions, from transporting nutrients and oxygen to cells, regulating body temperature, and removing waste. Water is also a vital component of blood, bodily fluids, and helps cushion joints and protect organs. An infant's body contains even more water, about 75%, decreasing with age. Even a slight loss of water, around 1-2% to of body weight, can lead to dehydration, resulting in fatigue, weakness, and decreased concentration. 
This is why regular water intake is essential for maintaining health and mental sharpness.